fancy intro music. Yeah! Woohoo! Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. And today I want to talk about grinding in the capital systems. And when I mean the capital systems, I'm talking about Soul and Romulus and Kronos and and talk about the value that you can find there as a player, what you can get in terms of the loot drops, and honestly, who all can actually do the grinding there? Because I think there's this, for a lot of players, there's this paradigm that you've got to be a high level to go out and do it. And, and truly, this is actually a great mid-level entry point into not only getting four-star blueprints, but also taking down high rep targets. And I think that's a pretty big deal for a lot of people. So we're going to talk about how to do it. And let's start with the value of it from a loot drop perspective. So what you get when you talk about grinding in Soul or grinding in Romulus or grinding in Kronos is you're talking about getting hostiles that are far heavier and far more powerful, but on the flip side of that, are going to provide better in-game rewards to Star Trek Fleet Command. So now you're like, okay, well, how good are those rewards? Let me give you a visual example of 100 chests that I pulled last night. Now, ignore this one because I was doing this during Apex, but... Here's your 100 chest example right here. You see I've got Newton BPs, Kelvin BPs, and Hydra BPs. So obviously the real quick note, what hostiles are dropping in this case are definitely system specific and faction specific. So you're not going to go to Romulus and get Kelvin BPs. You would have then be getting Valdor and Vortivore and Pylum. But let's talk about, let's look, or actually let's look at another set of pulls just so you see that it's not coincidental. I've got a fresh 100 here. No idea what this is going to be. So, Scopely, if there's not a single four-star BP in here, you're going to make this video look really stupid. But here we're pulling 100 chests here, and let's see the goodies we get. So, four Kelvin BPs. This is honestly not as good as the previous chest I just pulled. I'm leaving to Scopely to show some of the worst examples of this chest in action. But four Ke uh, Kelvin BPs, I'll take it. Why is this important? Well, for me, number one, I'm increasing my rep. But also remember that I don't have a Federation rep that's that high. So, so here's my Klingon rep. Here's my Romulan rep. And if you remember the Kelvin, you need to be well higher than 10 million to start earning those shards. So if I actually look right here at my Federation, you see the highest I can actually unlock is the Enterprise. Everything else is down here. But the cool thing is, one neat thing about this game is if you have the blueprints to a faction ship, you can build that faction ship. And if you did not know this how you do if you did know comment down below so what i can actually do is i can come over here and take a look at for example let's find some of these four star ships see i'm building a salad so i can scrap it later so there is the talus titan and there we go kelvin i'm almost halfway to a free kelvin and i'm gonna build it now i probably won't use it very much but i'm also 30 out of 350 to a newton and even if i you know don't end up grinding for newton's Per se, I'm still saving a lot if I wanted to build it. And here is my Hydra. I'm almost halfway to a Hydra, which I will definitely build and use that one completely for free. So the immediate value that you can see is the ability to grind and get blueprints to very important ships in the game. And the next point that's going to come up, I think, for me is the value of the rep here. So when you look at this, there's only going to be one system that immediately is probably better than this in terms of overall. That's in terms of Federation. That's a good system to do for rep without having to go into D space. Now, if you look at the Klingons, you're going to see they have 9,700 rep. Then you come over to Tiger Core. Remember, Tiger Core is a very special land of extra goody gumdrops and, and yumminess. Well, 8,000. So you, you're really not having a huge difference. You do have more, but obviously a heavy in a regular transport in the capital system is harder to take down than something in Tygo Corps. But you're getting a lot of value for the hostile that you are beating. Let's go back into it though and discuss that. So I'm able personally using three ships to grind about 10 million rep an hour if I'm using Kronos, Soul, or Romulus. This is about what I'm able to get plus what I can get from the loot boxes, which as you can see, RNG can make it to where you're getting a bunch or you have these big drops where you're not getting anything, like six straight hits where I get nothing at all, which is absolutely deplorable. And real quick, I do want to note, because a lot of people are curious about the different drop rates and if they're the same in each system. 
We are doing a little bit of tracking right now to make sure that the Soul, Romulus, and Chrono system all have equal drops and equal drop rates. If you want to participate in that, feel free to jump into our Discord in the STFC channel and check that out. But back to the main point. So I'm grinding here and we're going to continue to hopefully get Kelvin BPs, Hydra BPs, and Newton BPs. Now, let's talk about crewing for this. And many of you, as I said, are going to be like, well, Rev, you're able to do that because you're running monster ships. You've got a 25 mil pylum. I promise you, you don't need a 25 mil pylum to pull this off. You do not need to be a four-star player to grind in soul. In fact, you can be as low as 34, 35 and start this process, which would really help you in the future. Like it would set you apart, Star Trek Fleet Command, if you're able to do this and put in the time. Now it's optional. You don't have to go do this grind in the capital systems, but what you're going to find is one, it helps you hit those hostile dailies that you normally couldn't without going into deep space. And two, you're going to be able to farm for four-star blueprints. And before anybody asks, cause man, I get asked this question so much. No, you can't get 34 Epic BPs by grinding them in soul. You can't get 34 Epic BPs by grinding them anywhere in the game where you would actually need them. The question is, or the answer is, yes, technically there's a place where you can grind it, but you're going way out here. So realistically, no, you're not grinding 34 epics, but you can get the rares and the uncommons of the four star, which will save you faction credits, save you time, save you away team credits. That's the biggie there. So that's kind of like the focus. Let's talk about the crewing. So on my pylum, I'm running full Strange New Worlds with Hemmer. Obviously Hemmer being there to help fight traitors. Now, this is a four star ship. I know nobody has that, but let's go just kind of through it. So I've got my standard run right here in Pipe Moreau Chim, currently on a Katinga. This is what I would use to fight the regular transports. The spawn rate, what it's supposed to be. And I already know there's going to be a few members from server 26 who are going to jump down in the comments to remind me that, you know, theirs is broken and some other servers are broken. But the spawn rate is roughly 80-20. 80% heavies and 20% regular. So the key here is you need to be able to clear out these heavies as you're doing this. So I've actually used three ships, two that clear heavies, one that clears regular transports. So I've got Pipe Moreau Chim going to take on the regular transports. And you can actually do this with epic ships at the in the 30s. You can do this with any ship in the 40s and 50s because the transports are easier to take down, mostly energy-based. So you get a lot better use out here. And this obviously is the big OP crew for hostile grinding. Everybody knows it. So you can have your enterprise here. If you are unable to personally, you feel like you can't take on heavies, and I do believe you can, and I'll remind you of a crew that allows you to do that. If you feel you can, ask somebody in your alliance to come take out the heavies for you. And that's something that I used to do. In fact, a wing saber on server 20, just give a random shout out, used to come out and clear the heavies for me and I would just grind regular transport. So it can be done, but you can do it as well. And what I do, here's my third crew, just to give you reference, Picard, Beverly, Kath, to grind heavies with. So again, I'm kind of focusing on that kinetic fight because of it being a heavy, hence the big gun. So what would I do if I'm a lower level player and I want to hit heavies, but I don't have a pylum rev, I'm not big spender crazy like you. Simple, use the punch up crew. Now I did an entire video about this and if you missed it, don't worry, you can always go back and find it, and it's called Punching Up on my YouTube channel. But the crew specifically is this right here, and to show you how well it can work, I had a friend from our Discord, a Pseudo, help put this one, if I believe it was Pseudo. Pseudo is not like a level 55 player. This is a Bordis, not a Katinga. Katinga's right over there. This is a Bordis using the Punch Up crew to take down a Heavy. Now, what I typically do is use a Gladius. My Gladius can take out three or four before it finally smacks down. And that's not a ton. Let's be realistic. Taking on one or two heavies is not a lot. But anything you can do to clear those heavies to thus spawn more regular transports will make it easier for you as a mid-level player to grind in these capital systems. And I think that's kind of what you're looking for here. If you want to capture the value as the average player, well, what do you need? The ability to actually do the grind. So you can use this crew on a Gladius, a Burrell, or even an Augur or a D4 to punch up and take on these heavies, even if you're not like Rev, sitting in the glorious, beautiful pylum and how gorgeous it is and sexy and just like, wow, the curves, the, just the, 
those big nacelles on the ends. I know it's a beautiful ship. You're jealous, and I understand. But you don't have to be like Rev to do this. So you two can collect extra rep and extra boxes and start planning for your future, or you cannot. But I do think that there are misconceptions in this game, two of them in particular. One, I find that people don't understand that they are stronger than they think they are, especially if they follow content creators. I find the people who follow the content creators understand the game, but maybe they're a little tentative to try things because people in their alliance can't do it or they've heard from their server that it's just too strong. And I find that hostiles are a thing like this. I promise you, there are gonna be level 34s and 35s in this video, like in the comment section, who never believed they could take down a heavy, but it's possible with the punch-up crew. There are people who believe they couldn't take on the 45 Eclipse, and yet I've had dozens, honestly, more than that. People come to me like, Rev, our alliance took it down. Do you still need people who have high-level Stellas and good M scores? Of course you do, but it's doable with just Stellas, and it shocks people. You're better at this game than you think you are, especially if you listen to the content creators who are giving you that insider information. So hopefully this video shows you the value of grinding in Soul, Romulus, and Kronos, not only for rep, but also for the loot. If you can save yourself some time later on down the road, wouldn't you? A lot of fun. One drawback, your rep can climb way higher than you expected as a low level player. So be mindful of your rep if you're gonna do these grindings. And if this video helps you out, well, as always, comment down below, let me know what you think. And real quick, today's video is sponsored by our merch store. And you know why our merch store? Because y'all, the players, developed this t-shirt. This is the Today is a Good Day to Grind pirating t-shirt. You can get it on our web store, revduce.com. This is all designed by you. Y'all wanted it, we made it, I've got it on the way. So appreciate y'all as always. Thank you for following the channel. Hopefully it helps out if you have any questions about the format, how I did things, what I used, Y'all know, y'all know what to do. Comment section down below and have a great day. Live long and prosper. Stay safe for the Space Cowboys. Deuces, that's me. Catch you on the next video, which will be very soon because it always is. An even better outro than the intro for the empire and glory to your house.